We want to start with that news breaking overnight from Texas. There's a look at the scene this morning. Two heavily armed men opened fire at an event featuring a cartoon contest to draw the Prophet Muhammad. The FBI there right now as we learn more about the extremists behind that scary attack. We have team coverage this morning, starting with ABC's Ryan Owens in Garland. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning to you, George. That is the event center behind me, and this is a very active scene still this morning. You might be able to hear those helicopters up above. The bomb squad, all these hours later, still looking at the suspect's car. They're very worried this morning. It could be packed with explosives. Just before 7 o'clock, a hail of gunfire outside a civic center east of Dallas, hosting a controversial art exhibit. Get back in the back on the building. People scatter as officers scramble to take down two men who drive up, get out of their car, and open fire on police. We hear boom, 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 and a whole bunch of gunshots. A group called American Freedom Defense Initiative, notorious for its anti-Islamic views, hosting this award ceremony to give more than $10,000 to the best cartoon depicting the Prophet Muhammad. The main speaker at the event, allegedly on an Al-Qaeda hit list. This event was well publicized and the group's founder, seen here posing with the SWAT team before the shooting, shelled out 10 grand for extra security. This is an assault on the freedom of speech, uh, very much like the Charlie Hebdo uh, jihad slaughter. Here in Texas, one member of that security team, school resource officer Bruce Joyner, was shot in the leg. He's already out of the hospital this morning. Officers that were close by engaged the two men, shot and killed them both. Back inside, you can actually see the uncertainty as the event is streaming live. We are going to move y'all into the auditorium here in just a minute. I just need everybody to remain calm. People who are trapped there singing to calm their nerves. And the, rock is the two suspects' vehicle reportedly heavily armed. SWAT teams and an FBI bomb squad with robots spent all night working around the car. The suspects' bodies still on the pavement nearby. And they're still working at this hour. It should be no surprise to hear that there were plenty of threats against this event, given the context of it all, but we're told nothing specific. Meanwhile, George, investigators working very hard to identify the two men and their motive for what certainly appears to be an attempted terror attack right here on American soil. George. Thanks, Ryan. We are joined now by Jobin Paniker, our WFAA reporter on the scene. You were just outside the center, Jobin, when this all went down. What did you see? What did you hear? Well, we were outside, uh, me and my photographer, we were outside getting some exterior shots of that event that we went to. Uh, it was a cartoon contest um, of Muhammad, and uh, we were outside the event getting exteriors when we started to hear uh, what sounded like firecrackers, three, three to five very faint shots. Uh, we now know that those were uh, handgun shots. Uh, and then after that, some high-powered uh, gun shots. And as soon as that happened, officers started to tell us that we need to do get down or get inside the building. And so we started to, they started to usher us into the building and then they, they put us in that secure room. A lot of security at, at this event. There's no question that organizers were prepared for something like this. Yeah, uh, you know, we knew that there was going to be security at this event. Uh, we were actually outside the barricades when we were taking these shots. Uh, we were kind of almost joking to each other. Hey, look, look at all this. Look at all these barricades and, and no protesters here. Uh, but then, of course, uh, uh, reality hits and we see what's happening here. And we realize that uh, and, you know, your hats go off to um, Garland PD and the SWAT team. I think they did an incredible job uh, responding to this situation. How about the event itself? The organizers said it was organized to take a stand for free speech. Is it fair also to call it anti-Muslim? I think you can assume that. Um, just hearing people off of the podium, they were saying, you know, Islam doesn't belong in America. And after they were saying these things, there was uh, there were loud cheers uh, in the uh, in the room there. So I think you could assume that there was some anti-Islam sentiment going on in that at that event in that room. Well, thank you for your time this morning. Thanks for your testimony on what happened yesterday.